Ooh, what is up you guys and of course welcome to well our next battle and of course the gym leader in the Lithio in the battle association I was gonna say but of course it's a battle region and yes we're actually facing off Varia in her triple battle electric gym so we're going for a triple battle here which is actually generally scary because of really one thing and one thing only I never done triples but then I realized she is electric I have an excadrill as it's gonna work. Um, so my team here is basically Mega Septal and a Sumeril. Mega Septal, of course, here with Lightning Rod should be able to keep a Sumeril somewhat healthy. I banned a Sumeril. Uh, the Excadrill is actually, if I remember correctly, um, soft uh, soft sand for boost earthquakes. Uh, and then I have uh, Stoutland with Silscoff for the same kind of reason. Really, kind of want to hurt things. And um, then I've used Ditto and Tyranitar for sand. So Gallade. And Rotom are out of the question, but at the same time, didn't really think I needed them. I was considering Gravity on a Glade, basically, to ensure that Excadrill can just keep spamming Earthquake. But I was pretty sure that she was going to use something, you know, against me. So with that in mind, I knew things can levitate if they're electric. And I wasn't completely wrong, though. I really wasn't completely wrong, because even if she has six electric types... She do lack the actual three mods that are floating, so I would be much better off having Mold Breaker on my drill, which I decided not to have <clears throat> for some reason. But aside of that, she has Mega Man Trick, Rotom Frost, which is actually kind of cool. And speaking about it, Stunfisk, um, Electric, no, Electros, uh, Luxray, and Molga. So yeah, this was actually a very, very like easy going battle where it comes to what it was wanted to do against her. The thing was, could I do it? So I'm going to start with Sumeril, Southland, and Zeptar here from the get-go. And uh, I was instantly regretting that because I do realize Luxray is probably going to be a lead in the middle and actually go into paralyze all of them if I'm unlucky. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I I'm not only unlucky. I, I feel that that is a very, very bad call because here comes, of course, the Intimidate, and she intimidates all of them because it's in the middle. Uh, so I'm trying to learn, of course, the rules of these things but yeah, I'm just gonna straight away go in for that Mega Evolution and uh, basically nullifying any damage on the Sumerian outside of possibly a Grass Mover or something, like Giga Rain on Electric or Electros. I go directly for Dragon Pulse and uh, I will say this, poor Molga, like, it just bopped, it just exploded. So yeah, Septile is solving that and of course with the Lightning Rod you're expecting it, it makes Septile even stronger. So there are not a lot of phases you can take damage from this thing now. As I go for return, it still does a lot of damage actually, a surprisingly amount of damage. But had I been banded from Paul Stoutland, that would have been that would have been a much better choice. But you know it is what it is. Use the poem here on my apple juice. Yes, use the poem means apple juice in French. He's just gonna knock up the Luxray. Now, Luxray is not actually a threat for me, but the things that are gonna come in here now kinda are. Like Mega Manetric, yeah, it's definitely up there. And then comes Varia's Wrath, which of course is Rotom. And here's the thing, yeah, I have to go for Dragon Pools, of course, that mighty Manetric, that's the only thing I got here. Uh, because I can kill the Rotom afterwards, but the Mega Manetric with, of course, in the Power Ice is a much bigger threat for me. Uh, or at least so I thought, but she goes for Protect, I was like, no, no. As she goes for Blizzard with, of course, the Rotom. Had I gone for Dragon Pulse on the Rotom, things would have ended right there and then. But no! The Blizzard! The Blizzard is hitting us! And it's hitting us hard, really. But here's the thing. I had, like, a plan B here. Because I figured I was really sad seeing, of course, uh, um, seeing it fall. Because I really like Sept on this battle. Uh, Alright, there's a the knockoff. Actually, <laughs> what's that? I was thinking she got brain, brain Punch. But of course it's gonna knock off my uh, my choice pen. I think Use Poem has the water plate. I've tried to kind of figure this out. Was it, was it Lumberry? I wonder. Never mind. Um they're not having the same item at least. But I was thinking, alright, I can probably do like this. I can set up the sand in motion, which is kinda all I need. And then after that switch into Ditto, steal the Rotom, uh, and get Levitate, which means that Earthquake will not affect me. Uh, no, actually, I went for Rockstar, but I was stealing. I was thinking about um, about Earthquake from Stunfisk. I was trying to figure out you know, what, what was my plan. Uh, anyways, I'm going to bring Oh Yeah, which of course can I evolve to Rotom. As um, I go for Rockstar there, of course, with. Um, I was trying to figure out why. What set of moves did I go for? But yeah, I do a mighty amount of damage with, of course, Excadrill. 
Uh, you know, of course, I had, like I said, their ground play. It's it a lot of, I think it was soft sand. So we're gonna go for waterfall. And uh, believe it or not, this is actually gonna knock out uh, Limond. Uh, oh, I, oh, I got a crit. That explains it. That explains it. I was thinking, why? That's why I was so sure I was banded. But of course, Stalton was the one who was banned. Uh, but anyway, this is actually pretty much GG because my ditto is, of course, scarfed. And I can just say like this after this round of buffing of the Sandstorm. I can just simply go for, actually Mr. Rockslide, I was thinking, no, the mighty, mighty blizzard from, of course, this mod that is called, I can't really stress this enough, oh yeah. So yeah, that is GG, it is a very, very straightforward game, and I get so much momentum from the get-go, I really do, and um, I win this kind of effortlessly, so I'm feeling I'm not fair to vary by saying so, but... Um, at the same time, I mean, I believe I got two crits. Like, I didn't really look at the game, uh, like, until now, where she actually got intimidated both a summary, a lot of, of course, Stoutland and still broke through with crits. So, a lot of her mods kind of fell, uh, by hacks, which is incredibly frustrating. So, with that said, you know, sorry, Varia, that was, that was intense. I actually didn't notice it till now. Um, and outside of that, it did really pay off, uh, having Excadrill. Going for Rock Slide to hit both those mons. Yeah, definitely a big, big damage output there. And, uh, Asumeril actually did really well. Like, when, when Septile fall, I was pretty sure, you know, things were gonna get ugly. But yeah, I managed, I survived it, and now I'm here. <laughs> and of course, Rotom. Rotom is so cool. Like, Rotom Frost, I rarely see it. And it actually worked. I mean, it knocked out the Septile, and things got actually, for a, for a few seconds, kinda ugly. So, yeah, with all that said, we do got an electric patch, which is um, great. And uh, I hope next time I'm facing Feria that she's not having hard feelings about me because, yeah, having the same time frame, like I said, it's a massive disadvantage. But the things, the things she actually brought here, very interesting. And I actually like this team a lot for a triple battle. Um, so next time I kind of feel I'm screwed against her. But with that said, guys, thank you so much, of course, watching this video. And stay tuned tomorrow. When we go and get the grass, gym leader, or Hannah. That's gonna be interesting. Until then, guys, take care.